A third point, which is fundamental, is a disease of the society uh, that is the gun culture. It's insane. There's no society in which people walk around with assault rifles. Uh, there's a, in which, if you ask people today, uh, what's in the constitution, the first thing they'll say is second amendment. It should be understood that that is a public relations scam. It was invented. The gun culture was invented by the gun manufacturers in the late 19th century as the first major huge propaganda campaign of the public relations and advertising industry. Uh, after the Second World, uh, the Civil War, uh, there was a racket, radical decline in market for gun sales. The government didn't want them. European, the European wars were declining. How are they going to sell these fancy guns? It was an agricultural society. Every farmer had a, a musket, say, to scare off a coyote or something. But they didn't want the fancy stuff that the gun manufacturers were producing. They therefore created an image of the Wild West, which never existed. You know, the sheriff fast on the draw, you know, uh, uh, Buffalo Bill, the whole nonsense, all concocted. It sold. When I was a kid, I believed it. Other people believe it. The bottom line is you better buy your son a Winchester. He won't be a real man. Uh, this all expands into a culture in which massive supply of guns everywhere. Uh, it was all intensified radically in 2008 when the Supreme Court's Heller decision reversed a hundred years of precedent and turned gun rights into a holy writ. A very dishonest decision, I should say, could go into it. But all of this has created a gun culture with just massive killing going on all the time. Now that affects the police. When they move to direct police work, they have to expect that they're running into an armed population. That doesn't happen in other countries. Uh, it's one factor that fundamental factor that has to be overcome.